The Durham Unified School Board voted unanimously to approve a letter that they will send to Governor Gavin Newsom's office requesting the state recommend vaccine for students rather than require it. Action News Now reporter Esteban Reynoso spoke with parents and staff tonight about the decision. The Durham Unified School Board voted behind these high school library doors to tell the state they wish to not require the vaccine for students and staff. Aye. 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 Durham School Board standing up to the state to not enforce the vaccine mandate on school districts. James Uhas is a Durham school parent of two boys. He does not want his children to get the vaccine. I'm suggesting that the freedom of choice should be preserved. You know, to promote a vaccine as an option for people is one thing, but to require a vaccine for people is a completely different thing total government overreach. But more important to him, he doesn't want the vaccine imposed on other children. And other parents agree. Take a look at this sign that says you have to do what is best for you. No one walks in your shoes. These are pairs of shoes. Take a look at the ground here of staff members and also students that are against the mandate. We urge you to also join us to express your opposition to these mandates. The school board already had a letter prepared to send to Sacramento that asked for the vaccine to be a recommendation. I don't want to require any mandate. I don't want to recommend it. However, a big reason why the district doesn't want to comply with the mandate is because of the effects that could come of it. We have about 25% of our staff that has chosen not yet to get vaccinated and we're afraid that we're going to lose staff and we already struggle to fill positions and we're afraid that we'll, that'll make it even worse. I reached out to the governor's office today to ask what happens when a school district submits a letter like this one asking that the mandate be taken from a requirement into a recommendation. I have yet to hear back. In Durham, Esteban Reynoso, Action News Now coverage you can count on. The Thermalito School District is expected to discuss their decision on the mandate October 26th. Happy Valley School District decided not to comply with any mandate.